So we've got to the point now in our program where we've looked at what we might measure. So if we're working on time in the week, and maybe total time works, we can start looking at how we might overload our bodies to create an adaptation, to, be get, to get better, to become stronger, to run further, or whatever we want as our ultimate goal. Now, the temptation is to put too much on too quickly. It happens all the time and we get injured. It's very addictive when you want to see results or when you've got an event to train for and the pressure's building. But the way we should look at overloading our bodies is similar to the tides. So the tide's coming in right now. And what you'll see is each one of these waves doesn't automatically pass over the next one. What you'll have is a wave come in and then one will come slightly shorter, slightly shorter, but then every now and again, one wave will overtake the previous point and come to the furthest point that it's ever reached. And that's the way we want to look at the way that we overload our bodies. If every one of these waves represented one week of our training program, so this could be one week and the next week we're slightly shorter and the next week it's the same, and, but then the next week it comes slightly bigger and then there's the one week, the one week that we've been training for and preparing for and that is when the wave comes in, it reaches its furthest point and we've got that overload. We've created the stimulus that we wanted to do, our body adapts and then what we do is slowly, just like the tide, take it out. You could look at it on a micro level as you're training for an event, but you could also look at it on a macro level. You'll have months of your year where they'll be big in volume and you're purposely taking them down. But the key is overload carefully and make sure that you're overloading the right thing at the right time.